Come on, fishing. Hello and welcome to Realistic Fishing. Thank you for clicking on this video. Congratulations. You've clicked on this video because it says the greatest soft plastics or the best or I'm not sure what I'm titling it yet, but I have had such a fun, exciting time trialing and testing out these soft plastics that I have heard a lot of people talking about. My mates have been talking about them. I've seen a lot of YouTubers talk about them as well. And I thought I would give them a go. I would give them a test. Ripper. Now, I am no expert. I am an average fisherman. This is realistic fishing. And I'm sure you're probably just a normal fisherman as well. You, you, well, you might be an expert. But all I can say from my opinion is they are so much fun. In this video, you will see me trialing out these Kytec soft plastics paddle tails, two inch, three inch which I've already used up and the four inch and are they the greatest well that's up to you when you watch this video I've got to give these a good once over and forming an opinion on whether or not they are actually worth the $14 per packet are they better than other soft plastics so let's get fishing Let's get out there. It's a rainy, crappy day. This is my second video in the same day. The brim seem to be turned on when it's a bit crappy like this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yoo-hoo! Oh, nice brim. Brimbo. Oh, <laughs> nice little winter brim. So silver, I love them when they come out of the ocean. These ocean brim, they're just amazing. This is just a, whoa, sorry mate. All right, I think he's making his way back to the water. Oh, my bad. <laughs> you know, this is realistic fishing. I try not to hurt the fish. I was gonna throw him back, but that's all right. A wave will come and wash him down. Come on, next set. It's gone quiet now. The waves will sort him out. What seems to be doing the magic and why people are raving about them is their life-likeness. So, when we have a look at these little paddle tails, if I can get one out. They smell horrible. Actually, they smell quite nice, really. <laughs> Which is a good thing. And they are just very soft. But apparently, they rip easy. So. Depends on your preference. If these catch you more fish, do you mind having to buy more lures? Or do you buy something like Z-Men, which has a lot more uh, durability, but in my experience, doesn't catch you as many fish? Yeah, so that was my first ever brim on a soft plastic. <laughs> you got anything to say this time? Okay, so only one fish on the rocks. But I reckon if I stayed there longer, I would have got a few more brim. I only kind of targeted one area. Now we're hitting up the beach. We're going to try some gutters. Let's go. Okay, throw on a few soft plastics. <laughs> yeah, I've got eight on top of the day. It's Friday. I've got eight out of here on, on Friday. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, right. What, flatty? Flatty. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, well. Good luck, mate. Oh, did you hear that? Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> All right, let's see. He was using soft plastic. Let's see if my soft plastic out does his. So I'm fishing back into this hole from the sandbank. Oh. Oh. All right. Just had a hit then. Oh. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Little flatty. Phew. Okay, fish number two on these soft plastics. I've been here for about 15 to 20 minutes for this uh, for this little guy. All right, back you go, bud. Oh, yep. Yeah. Second fish. 
only a small one. Oh. Alright, whoa. Oi, there we go. Notice how all of the sand is washing into the gutter. This is actually bringing a lot of bait into the gutter and the flathead is sitting right on the edge. This is why I like to walk across to the other side and fish the deeper side. Oh, fish number three. He's a bit bigger. Beautiful flathead. I love how the patterns are so different when they come off the sand. He's only small. But he's the biggest one of the day so far. 20 minutes, three fish, pretty good. Getting a bit hectic out here. Time to go. <laughs> I'm getting soaked. Whoa. Oh, oh. Fell in a big hole. Oh no, I hope my car key's all right. <laughs> Woo. I love fishing. It's another day, a new location. We're here in Crescent Head. And we're just going to try to jig around the rocks, around the headland, see what we can pick up. But when you're in Crescent Head, you've got to stop the bakery because they have amazing pies. Amazing pies. Let's go fish out. <laughs> uh, we're just here at uh, Little Nobby at Crescent Head. Now it is winter, so that's why I'm targeting around the rocks for like brim because uh, you're going to get a big, big winter brim. Look at this sick little rock pool right here. This is cool. Oh, really cool little fish down there. All right, let's try this little zone. Might be a bit too wavy, I don't know. Possibly. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, nice. Ew! Oh, mate. Eight pound line, and I've just hooked it. Oh, no. Jeez. All right, I've got to switch to the heavier setup. <laughs> Man, he just snapped me off eight pound line. That was a big tailor. Big tailor. Jeez. Oh, I left my gear over there. I'm going to walk all the way around again. Ah. Okay, so I just changed rod because that tailor snapped me off of my 8 pound. I've got my 15 pound rod now. Uh, and uh, if there's still some more tail around, this will be fun. As you can see, this is my last soft plastic, but it did not disappoint. On the first day, when I was fishing for brim, there were tailor that kept chomping me off. Tailor are notorious for this, chomping plastics all the time. Oh, yep. Yep, I'm on. Oh, he's a good fighter. Another tailor, I reckon. Oh, big brim. Big brim bow. There you go. Another nice brim. Beauty. Good little fight. Uh, it's good fun just fishing around these rocks. Big tailor. Snapped off. Nice brim. Thought it was a tailor. The only problem is I'm running out of plastics. Let's throw him back in. So a couple of days later when I had more time, I went out and bought some more to test them out in a smaller profile, two inch, and first cast back in the same spot, or maybe it was the second cast. Boom, hooked up to this beautiful 35 centimeter brim. Uh, these things just seem to catch fish. Well, that's been my experience so far. 
<laughs> so what do you reckon? How were these soft plastics? Well, again, I'm no expert. I've only used three different brand, brands of soft plastics. That is Gulp, that is Z-Man, and that is now Kitech or Keytech, however you want to say it. And all I can say is this. <clears throat> Z-Man, very, very durable, but I haven't caught that many fish on them. Gulp, uh, I like the scented flavor, not as durable. I've only caught fish on one particular type of gulp, but now these Kitech, I am in love with. A lot of YouTubers use them, and so I thought I'll jump on the bandwagon, just give them a test. And all I can say is, from my first impressions, they catch fish. Are they as durable? No. They're not as durable, they won't last as long. You'll go through packets of them. But the fish just seem to love them. They seem to smash them because they do, they just move very realistically. However, again, I've only used these over a short amount of time. I would wanna give these a good going over from about a year or so before I make a final verdict to say if they're the best or the greatest. But in my opinion, they are very good. Are they worth the $14 a packet? So far, yes. So far, yes. Maybe you should make your own mind up. Buy just one packet, buy a couple of different things, flick them around and see what you like, what you prefer. But are they the greatest? Come back to me in about a year's time. <laughs> Thank you for tuning into Realistic Fishing. You can hit subscribe, you can like this video, you can do all those great things with a baby. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, yeah, stay realistic, or I don't know, I don't have a sign off, but um, yeah. See you guys, bye.